the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Today, as we celebrate the feast of the martyr, Saint Agatha, let us pray in a very special way that we are able to live a holy life. She stood for purity, even at the expense of her life. We close our eyes. We think of the ways we have defiled ourselves. And we ask the Lord pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the virgin martyr, Saint Agatha, Implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray. For she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. First reading, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as of sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge the immoral and adulterous. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper and I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. This is the word of Lord. Thanks be to God. Response serial Sam, your response. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge of whom should I be afraid. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waked upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. For he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Let's rise for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are they who have kept the word 
with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread, and people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying, he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned for it, learned of it, he said, It is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. Herod was the one who, who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip whom he had married. John had said to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers. His military officers and the leading men of Galilee his own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, As for me, whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests he did not wish to break his word to her so he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head he went off and beheaded him in the prison he brought it brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl the girl in turn gave it to her mother when his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this building. Over fruit of the earth, work of our hands, it will become the blood of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God. Blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks 
to your goodness this wise you offer fruit of the earth work of our hands it will become the cup of life blessed be God blessed be God blessed be God forever amen blessed be God Blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God our Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at, at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our, our good and the good of his holy church. church. O oh Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It's it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Agatha poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your mar marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear, bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you, we, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest as we enter into the most important part of the celebration we pour out our hearts before the lord we offer to the Lord our special needs and intentions. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and we profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Sebastian our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As we stand before the Lord, we lift to our Heavenly Father all our needs and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours, no now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. pray <clears throat> let us thank the Lord for the grace he has poured into our hearts as we celebrate this mass we continue to pray that we are able to live a holy and truthful life. Father, we thank you for this nourishment. We ask you to continue to guide us through your spirit so that we can live a life that is pleasing to you. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.